This is a second set of images taken on a trip to Romney Marsh in September 2020. It uh, uses Faye Goldwyn's guide uh, here and we're going to be looking at two particular areas. Now in terms of uh, a map of the, the area just to uh, locate, it's a rather flat area of uh, coastline uh, with Dungeness sticking right out into the, the channel uh, there. And uh, two particular areas to consider for this talk. The first is Fairfield Church, marked there with the triangle, and then a second uh, wider area around Dungeness. Fairfield Church, very much uh, because well, it's the cover image on the guidebook. Uh, but uh, interestingly, the Ordnance Survey use an image of the same church for their front cover. These are poor um, copies of uh, the, the images within uh, the Godwin's guidebook. Um, but they do give an impression of the, the wonderful sort of black and white images that uh, she produced. Interestingly, using a square uh, format, whether her originals were taken when she was uh, using Hasselblad, I don't, uh, I don't know. But the church itself uh, sits there on uh, a rather flat area, um, quite wet at different times of, of year. A uh, little more water uh, here, um, looking up towards the uh, the church. And then this is the monochrome version of the colour image that appears on the, the front cover of the, the guidebook. Uh, now these are uh, my pictures, uh, say taken in September 2020. Uh, so it's um, a rather drier uh, time of uh, the year. These are later in the afternoon and um, uh, just uh, cropped to this one to one uh, sort of square uh, ratio just to uh, uh, have something to compare. And then still uh, this wet area uh, as a drainage uh, channel in front of the, the church. A little bit of a, a bucolic uh, scene with the, the sheep on the, the right hand side. And then from a little further uh, back, uh, quite a few sheep uh, grazing and you get an idea of um, this being a fairly uh, remote church. There's no road to it, albeit um, the carriageway is only what quarter of a mile away something something like that and then moving on from uh, Godwin's influence of purely monochrome uh, sorts of uh, images uh, some of the images that we've uh, just uh, seen in their uh, original sort of color format and again um, uh, quite a bit drier there in September. So that was just a quick look at uh, Fairfield Church, very much because uh, it appears on uh, the front cover of the, the guide uh, book and lots of other people have been there taking uh, pictures. You can almost make out the uh, standard um, uh, three holes in the ground where tripods have been uh, struck for people to take their, their pictures. But we're now going to have a look at Dungeness, as I say, a rather wider sort of um, area. This is a, a poor copy of an image out of uh, Godwin's uh, book, but you get an idea of the almost shanty arrangements uh, where uh, fishermen are storing their uh, materials, boats hauled up onto the, the shingle area here. Very uh, interesting as a, a sort of fishing uh, community, fishing from uh, this interesting piece of, uh, of coastline. So in this image, we've got the RNLI lifeboat 
pointing down towards the, the sea. In the background, Dungeness uh, nuclear power station. Uh, it's just uh, a typical sort of uh, Godwin uh, image where she's uh, combining uh, one particular aspect of the environment uh, with a very sort of industrial feel to it as well. She was not a, a great uh, supporter, I think, of uh, uh, nuclear power, but um, there we go. And this isn't from the uh, guidebook, but from uh, Our Forbidden Land, I think, another of uh, Godwin's collection of uh, pictures. And it's described as the, uh, the sleeping uh, fisherman um, in front of the massive bulk of the, the nuclear power station there. Uh, from this, you get a, a good impression of the, the shingle that comprises this area of, of coastline. And famous uh, uh, now op op operated and managed by the National Trust is Derek Jarman's uh, Prospect Cottage. Um, an interesting little cottage, perhaps um, particularly for the interesting structures in the in the garden. Little pieces of uh, salvage, all sorts of scrap metal and uh, posts uh, that are uh, installed there in the in the garden. And on the right hand side, uh, Faye Godwin did produce quite a few portraits of, uh, of people. This is uh, Jarman himself. I uh, don't know the background as to uh, why the, the beekeeping outfit was particularly relevant, but, uh, but there we go. And then my uh, pictures taken at the same uh, place during uh, September 2020, of course, National Trust is still locked down. Uh, people aren't uh, visiting to actually enter the uh, the building. But taking a picture of uh, Jarman's uh, cottage, I thought it needed a little bit more than just a, um, a straightforward picture of a, of a box. And um, this chappy uh, kindly uh, was there doing his sketching. I thought for a minute he was some sort of uh, surveyor, but he's uh, sketching uh, an artist doing his uh, little bit. To my mind, uh, adds a little bit to the, the picture. Here we are, uh, monochrome, but um, the colour version uh, just uh, gives a, a different uh, dimension. The, uh, the yellow is quite, uh, quite bright against that uh, black uh, background. And then uh, during the ownership of the, the National Trust, the additional building on the, the left hand side there, which uh, uh, increases the, the size of the, uh, the building and an opportunity for the National Trust to show uh, more of uh, Jarman and, uh, and his life. And a little bit like uh, Godwin's uh, pictures, perhaps setting into context. I mentioned that uh, the gardens were things that people went to to look at. Um, the shingly area, you get all sorts of uh, interesting uh, plants and uh, colours. We've got uh, the cottage itself. And then again in the background, the nuclear power station. And the power station dominates the area. It's a, a massive uh, structure. But all around, you get this feeling of an earlier uh, sort of industrial fishing sort of uh, landscape. Quite a few of uh, these sorts of rusting uh, winches. And uh, another rusting uh, winch. I don't see it uh, doing a lot of work into the into the future. Uh, the asbestos buildings in some uh, disrepair, a boat, uh, uh, an upturned boat uh, there behind the, the building. But this perhaps marks out what sort of landscape uh, we've, we've got. Uh, it looks in part derelict old uh, uh, boats rotting away, 
little uh, areas where we've got those very rusty uh, winches so an area that's had some sort of industry in the in the past but no it's more than that because clearly trying to keep people out unless you you're, you're a key holder uh, you can't actually get with your vehicle uh, out onto the top of the, the shingle uh, bank there and you start to get a view that uh, it is still uh, something of a, a fishery and a little bit uh, more modern than uh, the little hut that uh, we saw in Godwin's uh, picture from the late 70s or early 80s isofreight containers uh, they're here and uh, there all sorts of different uh, colors uh, for a photographer um, very uh, bland in terms of their their shape very blocky but lovely uh, co uh, faded colors and uh, and rust uh, lobster pots there in the in the middle and various bits of uh, paraphernalia and you can see the concrete uh, plinths that um, have had other equipment on um, and the, the the equipment has uh, done its uh, time and uh, been been removed but it's not worth trying to remove the uh, the concrete plinths themselves and in terms of uh, fishing uh, it's a steep shingly uh, beach uh, so you need the right sort of a boat and the right sort of uh, supporting equipment and it's it's amazing the the number of bulldozers there are uh, lined up along the top of the the coast uh, there top of the uh, the beach uh, lots of uh, plastic uh, containers with uh, fishing nets and the and the like but the, the caterpillars the the bulldozers are are quite something in them in themselves you can see that uh, they're used to actually drag boats like the Georgina Maria there uh, up out of the, the sea, out of the, the way of the, the tides. Uh, so it's physically quite a, a challenge to, uh, to, to operate from, from here. And something as uh, a, a big and uh, a powerful as a caterpillar bulldozer. I did like the way that it's got a, a nice duvet over the engine area to keep it nice and uh, and warm. Somebody thinks a, a lot of their very rusty bulldozer. And then, uh, as I said, the paraphernalia of uh, fishing, uh, boats being hauled up onto the, the top of the shingle uh, beach here, and uh, you get all sorts of interesting patterns and and shapes and then perhaps in a little bit of a, a nod to uh, to Godwin here's the here's the color version and then uh, a monochrome that uh, makes it look uh, a little different getting the old uh, boats up onto uh, the top of the the beach um, there were uh, there are quite a few of these uh, little uh, railways um, just uh, with a stationary engine on one of those concrete plinths some distance uh, inland and uh, then um, the the boats would be hauled um, on little uh, bogies uh, using these these rails this boat I think has been out of the the water for a long time and if it went back in the water I don't think it would uh, get very far uh, but interesting in terms of uh, old materials here lying about on the, the top of the beach and uh, the, the, the the same boat with um, uh, another of these uh, these winches nearby and we can see a more modern boat uh, coming into uh, the the beach on the, the left hand side of uh, the the the, uh, the old boat there in the in the center and still quite a few little uh, fishermen's uh, uh, putts where they're keeping their uh, fishing gear and uh, the bulldozers get used I think for a lot of the uh, the larger uh, boats but here a chap's uh, winching in his uh, smaller 
speedboat uh, stationary uh, engine on a platform there, chains anchoring it all uh, down. And this, I suppose, is the uh, the old and the, the new. Here we are on the, the left hand side, another of these uh, uh, clinker built uh, boats uh, fading away into the, the top of the, the beach. Right hand side, a more modern uh, boat has just been hauled up onto uh, the, the beach. Um, little moped there on the on the right. That's how the, the fishermen um, arrived earlier. And then finally, a little bit of uh, colour. Um, so the modern fishing boat has been hauled up onto the top of the, the beach and clearly it deserves something like the, the red carpet treatment. So that's a, a quick look at Dungeness.